A manufacturer of tennis balls has daily cost of uh, C of x is equal to 200 minus 10x plus 0.01x squared, where C is the total cost in dollars and x is the number of tennis balls produced. What number of tennis balls will produce the minimum? So if we are plugging in uh, this equation in the utilities, in those uh, electronic utilities, calculator or a desmos for instance so this graph over here i got it from the desmos and if we cut if we plug in in the desmos we get this kind of the graph and this is quadratic uh, equation which we already know this is uh, the leading coefficient positive has to be the concave up and the minimum the vertex in the minimum represents here down in this position where is the vertex is the minimum and in the minimum it signifies in the x-axis are uh, tennis balls while in the y-axis they represent represent uh, the cost and the cost is in the uh, in the dollars uh, it doesn't say for example for example if it says uh, just in dollars it has to be negative 500 dollar negative 300 but here in this if you look in real world the situation it represents something that the factory uh, gets uh, some benefits if they produce this up to 500 it gets uh, some benefits that's why the cost of the factory is going down if until 500 after 500 it starts uh, the cost to go up and in 1000 the cost is going to be zero of the manufacturer doesn't get any benefit and from this position and up every time after 1000 uh, uh, tennis balls produced by the manufacturer it means that it's going to be the cost uh, upper and upper it's going to be the positive there's going to be some uh, more values that's more expenses so the cost is going to be higher from 1000 so from the pocket of the manufacturer is going to get more money but up to 1000 from manufacturers pocket doesn't get anything out Anyway, if we want to hear, for example, to find the this problem with the, if we want analytically, of course, we have to use the, the axis of symmetry formula, which is minus b over 2a. And if we plug in here everything, it means we have the b in this case is going to be minus 10 minus 10 but because it's a negative here is just a 10 and uh, a is a 0 0.01 but it's a 2 times a is 2 times 0 0.01 0 0.01 and if we multiply everything x is going to be equal with a 10 divided by 0 0.02 uh, 0 0.02 and if we are plugging in calculator x is going to be 500 which represents 500 tennis balls so this is the answer about this question